Hey everyone, I'm Jen Mueller. And you know what? My bio only tells half of the story of how I ended up being a sports reporter, anchor, and producer in Seattle. Here is the rest of the story. You know, for a long time, I wanted to be a school teacher. I was planning to teach third grade and just kind of go on my way. When I was in high school, my guidance counselor said, Jen, you like to talk a lot and you're not afraid to talk in front of people. Have you ever considered a career in broadcasting? Up to that point, I hadn't, but I gave it some thought. And I thought, you know, if I'm gonna be in broadcasting, news and politics, that's not for me. It has to be sports, because I'm a lifelong sports fan. I played sports all through high school, and every job I had from high school on had something to do with sports. I spent my summers coaching swim team, I worked for the student newspaper, I did radio reports, I worked in the athletic department when I went to SMU in Dallas, and that's really where my passion and my love was. I majored in broadcasting journalism at SMU because they had a good program and I knew that the alumni would be supportive. I had a backup plan just in case there wasn't anything available in sports. I also have a minor in public policy, which is a combination of economics and political science. In addition to all of the classes, I worked in the intramural department as a flag football official and a supervisor. That led me to a career as a football official in high school. So I worked for a couple of years in Texas doing that. And then when I moved to the Northwest, I did another six or seven years on the sidelines as a high school football official. That just helped me create a niche for what I really wanted to do, which was report on football games. So I did that on the side and I did my real job during the day. My real job when I started off was as a booker for a sports show in Texas. A booker is the person who calls up guests, agents, PR people, and asks if they would come on the show. It was a sports radio style show on TV, and it was my job to make sure that there was somebody there every night to talk to. From there, I moved to Seattle and I became a producer. And I worked my way up as a writer and a producer. I ran teleprompter. I did all sorts of things behind the scenes for a number of years. And on the side, I did my own work. I took leftover sound bites and I took projects that people had done and reworked them to get a hand at writing my own packages and my own scripts. Eventually, when I was working at King 5 Television, I had a chance to be on air once a week on their cable sports show. It was on Northwest Cable News, and it was called Northwest Sports Tonight. So once a week, I got a minute to be on TV. I used that, got critiques and feedbacks from the people that I was working with, put together a resume reel, landed a job at FSN Northwest. Now it's known as Root Sports Northwest. The agreement when I came to work at FSN was that I would produce shows and then on occasion get a chance to be on the air. And that's how I ended up to be a producer, reporter, and an anchor. And people always ask if I had one piece of advice, what would it be? And here's what I tell them, make sure that you do every job to the very best of your ability. It doesn't matter if it's a little job or a big job, all of it's important because all of it reflects on you and your integrity and the reputation that you have. All of those little things will add up to big things one day. That and don't count the hours. If your family's okay with not seeing you on nights, weekends, and holidays, then this is the job for you. If you would prefer to have more of a social life, well then maybe you should look at some other options out there. Hopefully this has been a help. If you'd like to talk to me further or set up a phone interview, please email me, jen at talksportytome.com. Check out the website and the blog.